Hello, in this video we will be looking at specific settings when working with the Brother GT range of printers supported in Digital Factory. It's assumed that you've already watched the rest of Digital Factory apparel videos and are familiar with costing and layers. There are three drivers available to install the GT381, 361 and GT341. In this example we've already installed the GT381 and this will install four cues for each of your black shirts, coloured shirts and white shirts. The four cues are split so there will be two cues for 600 dpi printing faster and two cues for 1200 dpi printing slower but higher quality. You then have a photo and graphics cue for each. The difference between these is the rendering intent, with graphics using an absolute rendering and photo using a perceptual rendering. In general, photo works best for photographic images of people and outdoor scenery, and graphics works best for cartoons, illustrations and logos. Before we go into the options for the Brother in Digital Factory, it's important to understand the design of the Brother, as this affects what options you choose when printing with white ink. Both the Brother GT361 and GT381 have white printheads, but unlike most printers, all the printheads are not in parallel. Instead, the white printheads are offset from the CMYK, and there is a physical gap between the white and CMYK printheads. This means that when printing, you can physically print the white first, and then the CMYK on top, and can do this in a single pass. The gap between the two print heads gives some time for the white ink to settle and dry. It's important to understand this as if you want to make changes to the layers of a queue, the printer is designed to print the white and colour in the same pass and not in two separate passes or two separate layers. So for example on a black shirt we have a single layer which will print the white and colour together. The printer design ensures that the white ink will print first, followed by the colour. Because of its design, it would mean that you would never use the highlight option. The highlight is designed for printers where the colour and white print heads are all parallel, and after printing the white underbase in the first layer, when printing the second colour layer, you create a highlight to boost white in areas that only contain white. It makes no sense to do this on the brother as you would benefit more from applying more underbase to the whole of the graphics. Because we are printing the white and colour in the same pass, it does mean there are less registration issues. So we typically use a lower value for the choke of the white, two or three pixels on a black shirt, rather than typical value of five. The maximum ink percentage sets the maximum amount of white ink to use. So you can pull back on the white ink if you're getting too much. There's also a white passes control that can be used to increase the amount of white printed. When white passes is set to times two, each white pixel is printed twice. It's only the white that's printed twice. The CMYK doesn't get changed, but there's also a speed consideration and a times two will take approximately twice as long. For black shirts, you will need time two for the white ink passes at 600 by 600 resolution. If you have used the Brother software in the past, it might help to relate these settings to equivalents in Brother's own interface. The maximum ink percentage and white passes do the same as the highlight white control in Brother's own software. Three and below on the highlight setting will be the same as white passes times one and four to six is white passes times two. The value of six is the same as our default setting for black and colored shirts at 600 by 600, which is 100% maximum amount of white ink at two ink passes. Values above 6 in the Brother software would create an additional pass. At 600 by 600 we don't recommend this in Digital Factory as we have a better solution. 
The 12 by 1200 primp cues for the brother are actually created using two passes. By doing this, we can get a significant speed improvement over the brother driver, typically around 30%. We do this by first printing a single white underbase at 600 by 600. Then print the white again and the color at 12 by 1200 in another pass. This two passes gives us more than enough white ink. In fact, we are pulling back the white on the 12 by 1200 pass to 50%. But for both passes, we only need times one on the ink pass. And to get a similar amount of white at 12 by 12 using the brother driver, we would need to use times two ink passes, which is considerably slower than this system. It's also why we don't support an extra pass at 6 by 6, 100 dpi, as it offers no speed improvement over our 12 by 12, and a 12 by 12 will give better results. The mask in the Brother software is equivalent to the underbase strength feature in the layers interface in the Digital Factory software. The mask and the underbase strength both control how much white is used under black and dark colored areas. If you are using the costing feature with the brother, then you also need to factor in both the number of white print heads you have installed in the printer and the number of white passes. Only one white channel actually gets sent to the brother printer. It then duplicates this data internally for the number of white print heads installed in the machine. So for example, if you had a GT361, it has two white print heads and you'd need to set number of white passes to two. For the GT381, you would need to set this value to four because there are four white print heads. If you are using times two for the white passes, then you need to double this value. So for a GT381 with white ink passes of two, this value should be eight, as in a 600 by 600 DPI output black shirt. The costing data will show you the correct costs for your white ink. But will only show you the volume used for the single pass of white. If you want to work out the actual amount of white ink used, in this example, we'd have to multiply the value 0 0.0001194 by eight. There are some additional cues that have been created and are in the printer package, but are not installed with the initial installation. You can easily add these additional cues using simple drag and drop. The extra cues can be found in the cues folder in the installation directory, and they have the extension .qpmz pack. We have two of these files. Brother HT will install some cues that will simulate a half tone. These cues can be added and used if you want to create prints that use a half tone cell to simulate screen printing output. The single pass package will install cues that will print at 1200 dpi, but in a single pass, rather than the two pass approach using the default cues we install. It's slower, but because it prints in a single pass, it will have less registration issues.